In Indianapolis, Indiana, Tim Stark, the owner of an exotic zoo, is raising hell in the hallway of Marion Superior Court. Sure, everybody get in there, you bunch of Watch what happens when I get you on the stand. Stark is speaking to former female volunteers who alerted authorities to his alleged mistreatment of animals. He faces state civil charges that include animal abuse and neglect. Tim Stark is the owner of a nonprofit called Wildlife in Need. It's an organization that's set up to actually care for and rescue animals. So it appears that he is uh, looking out for animal rights. But on this day, we're in court because the Indiana Attorney General says he's abusing animals. Stark was also in Netflix hit series, Tiger King, so he enjoyed 15 minutes of fame. Now that series itself, um, not exactly um, lauded for how animals were being treated. Some of the allegations came directly from Stark's former employees. And I could not believe that an animal that needed medical attention, medical care, and medical and medication, he was refusing to give. They said that the cages were kept messy, that he fed his animals expired meat and roadkill, and that there was rarely a vet on site. This isn't Stark's first dip in legal hot water. Do I bend the rules, twist the laws? You better believe I do. In 2017, the animal rights group PETA hit him with a lawsuit that accused wildlife in need of ongoing violations of the Endangered Species Act. On August 14th, 2020, Tim Stark finds himself in court to face motions filed by the state of Indiana. Cameras are not allowed inside to witness Stark go on a wild rant against former employees but they do capture what happens after the hearing. We now have seven deputies who escort Stark out of the courtroom, and they pass several female volunteers in the hallway who are being interviewed by a reporter. Volunteers are describing what just happened inside. There's a lot of pacing, a lot of swearing, a lot of derogatory remarks against the ex-employees, ex-volunteers. Um, a lot of how we're lying. While these employees are giving their interviews, Stark walks out of the courtroom and he begins to verbally berate them. But his anger is not violent. It's actually stone cold, which makes it more chilling. Everybody gets in there, you bunch of Watch what happens when I get you on the stand. Let's see what happens. Let's see every one of you. You ready? Are you ready for that? Because we're gonna pull you up on the stand and I'm gonna show that you're a lying that you are. He's big man on campus, and I think it's just another attempt for him to try to intimidate these women. What's really shocking to watch is to see the number of deputies standing around before any deputies step in to intervene. You wanted to go against me? No, yeah. I can talk however yeah. the I want. Okay. The deputy just turns around and says, oh, okay. That's definitely not the proper response. I don't know why the officers acted that way. I don't think I would have taken it. You know, oh, courtroom now I can talk to him however the hell I want it's English language my I think the deputies even though it looks like they're being timid they're probably doing the best thing they can do this guy is not violent but he's abusive verbally and let's face it that, that's not going to get anybody killed the goal for those seven deputies is to get him on the elevator and out of there